All right, guys. Well, I'm going to show you how to format a Xbox 360 hard drive to for use for a computer like this for a PC. Because if you just hook up the Xbox 360 drive to a PC, it won't recognize it at all. You go to my computer. It just doesn't recognize it. There's a local disk C, but that's it. And there's got a bunch of removable disks because of the little card reader here and my uh, USB drive. But that's it. It doesn't recognize any other hard hard disk drives. Just one. So what you don't want to do is get your uh, guinea pig uh, PC. <laughs> don't want to use your, uh, you know, thousand dollar gaming computer. Well, I mean, that's, that's all you got. Well, go ahead and try it, but I don't like really doing that. I like doing my, using my, you know, junk PC to do things like this. But anyway, what you want to do is uh, hook up your 360 hard drive SATA connection to your computer and also get a, get your, uh, say it's called a low level format tool. This one's, this file name is, there we go, LLF setup 2.36. Click on that, install it, create a desktop icon, next, install, shouldn't take too long. Alright, there we go. So what we want to do is my 360 hard drive is only 20 gigabytes. Right there, you want to select that and then hit continue. And then go up here to low level format or you can go to smart data and just, you know, check out the smart attributes. Error rate. Let's see. Let's see if there's any bad write errors. No. Um, relocated sectors. Oh wow, 20. Yeah, so that's, that's going to be a probably a bad hard drive from uh, later on. But, but anyway, you want to go to level for, low level format and format this device. Absolutely sure. You destroy all data. Yes. And you wait for it to uh, do that. In a low-level format, depending on how big your drive will be, will take a serious amount of time. Uh, this will probably take around maybe 45 minutes, probably. Maybe a half hour for only a 20 gig. But if you got like a 160 gig or a 320 gig or, you know, whatever, it's going to take a lot of time. So that's all you gotta do. Once this formats, I you know, then put it in your computer, and uh, it should already be formatted. If not, uh, you can format it to NTFS for use with your computer, and then you can store data or whatever you want onto it. So there you go.